Uh, he can make every throw in the field. He's very smart. You know, he knows what he's looking at and certain coverages and such like that. So overall, I think he's a very complete quarterback. You know, it's going to be a really good test for us this week. Hey, you know what? The one thing about Carson Strong, too, a hey, pretty good guy. I know Bronco Nation probably doesn't want to hear that. But back at Mountain West Media Days in July, we got the chance to spend a little time with the preseason Mountain West Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, today will be his first time playing in the Boise State-Nevada rivalry game, and it's a game he's been looking forward to for a very long time. Yeah, it is going to be a big game, and I know all about it. I know that, you know, there's bad blood, but, you know, I'm looking forward to it. They're the top dog that they have been for years, so it's just, you know, everyone respects Boise just because they've been successful for so long, and, you know, they're kind of just like the powerhouse of the conference, and so, you know, they, they got more money. They got, you know, four-star players and, you know, all, all that hype, and, you know, we're Nevada. We're... You know, we don't have an indoor and we were the brokest school in the conference and I only had one scholarship to Nevada and I had no stars and so it's it's kind of like we got a chip on our shoulder when we go and go up there and play in this year. Does it feel like a rivalry game today? You tell me. Boise State has played Nevada more than any other opponent in its history, with the series dating back to 1971. The Broncos and Wolfpack were joined at the hip in the big sky beginning in 1979, and that's when the rivalry exploded. It was hotly contested in the 1980s, with Boise State having the edge. In the 90s, Nevada got to the FBS before the Broncos did. That was the height of the Wolfpack program. The teams were reunited in the Big West and then in the WAC and now in the Mountain West. And since 1999, Boise State has won 16 of 17 games against Nevada. Problem is, they don't play every year. If Colorado State and Air Force go to the AAC, they could, and the rivalry would be fierce once more. If the Broncos ever go to the Big 12, they may never see each other again after that. 